Henry Jackson was born in Keysville, New York, April 4th, 1843. He started his art career as a talented watercolorist, then transitioned to the Union Army to record scenes through several sketches at the age of 19. Quoted from the Encyclopedia Photograph and the International Center of Photography, quote, William Henry Jackson became one of the 19th century America's best known Western landscape and Indian portrait photographers. A man of enormous energy and stamina, Jackson was a pencil and brush artist, a writer, an explorer, and a prolific photographer who produced tens of thousands of negatives during his long career, end quote. Moreover, Jackson was a great, great nephew of Samuel Wilson, the progenitor of America's national symbol, Uncle Sam. Opening portrait studio with his brother in Nebraska, Jackson simply said, quote, Portrait photography never had any charms for me, so I sought my subjects from the housetops, and finally from the hilltops and about the surrounding city, the taste strengthening as my successes became greater in proportion to the failures, end quote. In 1869, a contract was granted to Jackson from the Union Pacific Railroad to record the scenery along with their route. Subsequent to the, that year, he was offered a last-minute invitation to adhere the 1871 U.S. government survey of the Yellowstone River and Rocky Mountains led by Kanal Hayden. Jackson worked with Dr. Hayden for seven years exploring a number of exclusive and uncultivated locations, which included Mesa Verde, Colorado. Carrying three cameras about a foot in length and width, the mule had once lost its footing, losing a month of Jackson's work. Having to return to the Rocky Mountain landscapes to reconstruct the pictures, Jackson put his life in jeopardy in 1873 by climbing the western slope of the Rockies to prove the existence of a mountain and a large cross known today as Mount of the Holy Cross. With one out of three cameras, he used a stereoscopic lens to create a more realistic capture of the scene by what is known today as three-dimensional photography. To add, in March of 1872, William Henry Jackson convinced the U.S. Congress to make Yellowstone the very first national park. In 1878, Jackson's work for the United States Geological Survey had ended. Yet he pursued with working in the West, continued portrait photography as well as recording railroad construction of mining towns in the Rocky Mountains. Directing to the United States history, Jackson is to this day a known photographer from his documents of the transcendentalism to the West, incorporating not only Colorado, thus far Wyoming, Utah, California, Montana, and Nebraska, as well as many of his photographs were published in Chicago's Harper's Weekly Magazine.